Okay, Aries, I first want to say I apologize for getting your readings out so late. There was some personal issues that was going on right when I was getting ready to start recording for my March 2023 videos. Had a lot going on. It was like good punches left and right of everything that was going on. So it took me in for a loop and we're finally getting things back together. So I'm hoping that everything is going well with what we are doing or what you know, everything right here, what I'm doing. Um, like I said, family's first, and I had to get that straight and cleared away. So that was just a lot of work within itself. Um, so we're going to, I'm recording this early in the morning, so the sun is up, but not up like it normally is. So I hope you can see um, your cards. Uh, but needless to say, let's go ahead and start, and let's dive in, my dear, 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 Tauruses. This is your reading for March 2023. We're going to start with the Modern Witch Tarot. Mm, the Modern Witch Tarot deck. And then we're going to go there from there. And we'll follow with some Oracle cards. And let's see what's going on for y'all for March of 2023. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. We had and there's no reversals. Everything's going to be read intuitive. So there are no reversals. We have the Hanged Man. Okay, that's the first one we have. The hangman. Um, okay, normally I wouldn't take as many cards, but if they come out, I'm gonna take them. Okay, like I said, no reverse is gonna be read with this reading. All right, we have interesting. We have the hangman, seven of wands, nine of wands, and the eight of cups. I'm gonna see if I can just some more light. So if you see my arm in the way, I apologize. All right. The Hangman, Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands, and then the Eight of Cups. All right, my dear Tauruses. <sighs> wow. I'm not going to say that it's... I see a lot of waiting, anticipation, thinking. A lot of thinking going on this month for you, for my dear Tauruses of March 2023. Um, the reason why I said, of course, you know, they had the hangman. I always felt the hangman is the one of decision, enlightenment. You know, you're taking time out trying to figure out what's going on. The seven of wands I've always felt is if you are in battles for yourself, not like severe battles, but, you know, things that are going on. Kind of when I was telling y'all about situations that were going on, I'm trying to get those away. The nine of wands, I feel that that is saying, you know, you're, you've, fought through those battles but you still are looking around like okay you're looking over your shoulder like you know what is you know next because it's like building you know wands have always felt it's like that building energy so you're kind of like okay what else and then you had the eight of cups where we always said that's walking away so with you Taurus it's interesting I feel like you have like I've said I don't know if this was y'all's last month but I'm just going to go with the aspect that you do have a lot on your mind. You're trying to figure out what is important, what's not important, what to fight for, what not to fight for, what to think about, and what not to think about. That's the engine I'm getting from you, Taurus, is that you're just trying to figure out. Basically, you're just trying to figure out. That's the best way. And I, I say myself to that a lot of times if I'm around home or just thinking, I'm like, I got to figure out. I got to figure out how to do this. I got to figure out how to do this. If I have information on this, then I can do this and the other. So I figure with you, Taurus, March of 2020, 2020 mm, for you, Taurus, for March of 2023, I feel like you're in the angle of, I'm trying to figure out, point blank period. But let's continue on with the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. And let's see if we can get some more information for you, Taurus, of what's going on. Now, if this message does not pertain to you, please go into your other um, signs that you have and see, you know, if that pertains more to you with this reading, okay? All right, let's see here. <coughs> your other placements, other signs. Depends on how everyone wants to word that, okay? We have, uh-huh, movement, choices, and decisions, like I said. All right, balance. These cards came out with the Aries warning when not the Aries reading. <laughs> Let's see here with these cards. All right, power. Ah, interesting. Okay, 
Taurus. So it's like what I'm saying. You are in that aspect of I'm trying to figure out or of thinking. And it's the movement, choices, and decisions, balance, and power. You're just trying to figure out which way to go, what to think about, what not to think about. Is it this for my benefit? Is this going to help me balance? Is this going to help me in the long run? That's why I'm saying movement, choices, and decisions, balance, and power. What what am I? Am I balancing things right? Am I doing things right? Is this, and you have a lot of decision making. That's like how I felt for you. So I understand, Taurus, what you're going through. If this is for you, um, Taurus, that you're trying to figure out, okay, if I make this decision and just quit doing this and then do that, you know, what would be the best idea to do? So it's not fun thinking, but it's not bad, but it can be very, very troublesome. Okay. All right. Now we're going to pull out from the fairy tarot deck. And let's see what else do they have to say. I am shuffling on camera. Just these are big cards. Ah, very big cards. I love them, but they are huge. Okay. You. Six of autumn. Hope you can see that. I'm going to take these two. The High Priestess and the Four of Summer. All right. I'm going to put these right here. Now we have the Six of Autumn. Hope you, I hope you can see that. Like I said, it's early in the morning. But it says, the good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of money. Borrowing wisely or repaying a debt. Okay. High Priestess, trusting your intuition, careful reflection before taking action, insights that, in, oh my God, insights that come through meditation. I'm so sorry. Like I said, it's early in the morning. I haven't had coffee or tea, so I'm going through some things. Okay, then we have the four of summer, and this says being distracted and failing to see a magical opportunity, taking someone or something for granted discontentment with life okay that's why i was saying when you have all these decisions on what you're trying to do it's like if i'm trying to figure out that is the vibe that you are having this month taurus for march 23 i'm just trying to figure out and it's all over this reading everything i'm pulling is giving me that vibe that you're just trying to figure out all right now let's move to the psychic tarot of the heart Let's see what it says for Taurus of March of 2023. I mean, this reading is seeping with, I'm just trying to figure out. Or if I can figure out. I'm trying. I figured. It just keeps going. All right. We have the throat chakra. Throat chakra. And we have share the love. And we'll get one more. Here we go. And we have helpless and hopeless. Okay. All right. So, Taurus, like I said, your throat chakra. It's like a lot of time when you're trying to figure out things. Maybe you want to express how you feel. Okay. And your throat chakra could be closed. Like you can't really express how you're feeling, your emotions, so on and so forth. Sharing the love. That's what I'm saying. You're trying to figure out exactly what to do. Sharing the love. What what decisions are you making? And these decisions are going to be decisions that can hurt someone, help someone. Helpless and hopeless. You're feeling this way because of the fact you're such in deep thought of, I'm just trying to figure out that you're feeling hopeless and helpless. Okay, and it can be overwhelming if you're trying to figure out the balance of what can happen with your decisions. And that's the thing about decisions like this. Whatever you're thinking about, good, bad, happy, sad, whatever it is, it's decisions. And you got, sometimes you do have to figure out well, how can, and a lot of time I say, we well, don't worry about people. But I figured with this decision, it, it involves a whole thing. You know, like, okay, if I do this, is this going to stop me from doing the other? Is this going to stop me from pursuing my dreams? So on and so forth, okay? All right, now let's move to the Angel Wisdom Tarot deck. Another wide tarot deck. Great cards, but they are big as well. Let's see. That's too many for me. That is too many. Right. 
awakening. Wow. There we go. That confirms it. Like I said. Same for Hangman. I'm going to get that. This is, mm, strength. Now they're probably just repeating themselves. And this is the two of fire. So it's the two of fire. Make sure. There's the two of fire. Yeah, two of fire. A two of fire is equivalent to wands. Like I said, that wand energy. Okay. So we have a waiting, which is the, oh, I'm so sorry. Which is the hangman energy. A temporary pause for reflection and insight. An awakening where you see things in a whole new light. Embrace your own uniqueness, charitable actions. Like I said. Strength, personal power, and assertiveness portrayed with kindness, compassion that brings about forgiveness, realizing that your strength, that you're stronger than what you knew. Uh, that's the same card that's in here. And then we have, like I said, two of fire with two of wands. Taking the next steps, bold and ambitious choices, parenting with other, no, partnering with others who share your dreams, expanding your plans, continue to move forward. That's why I was saying, Taurus. That decisions you make right now, I'm just trying to figure out. That's the energy. What do I do? How is this going to serve? Is this going to interfere? With, and if you, these are the things that are going through your mind right now, Taurus. Okay? All right, now let's go with the Mystical Wisdom Oracle deck. And let's see what they have to say. About four Taurus. March of 2023. I get the biggest cards, all these big cards for this reading and didn't realize it. But that's okay. It was meant for this to be. Archangel Raphael, provider of healing for mind, body, and spirit because you are going through awakenings. You're going through energy of thinking. Okay, so it's saying that you are, he's providing healing for your mind, body, and spirit because you could be feeling all kinds of ways right now. All right. Where are you? Thank you. Come here. Thank you. We have sensuality. Express your sensuality. That was just saying, like, express yourself. Like, I was saying with the throat chakra. You might not be able to really express yourself, but it's saying express yourself. All right. We have epiphany. Seek clarity. That's what I was saying. With the hangman energy all over the place, you are trying to make decisions and seek insight on those, Taurus, March of 2023. Okay, now let's move to the cards of the Sword of Light Oracle deck. Let's see what they have to tell you, Taurus, March of 2023. Those are too many. Prioritize self-care. You do so much for others. It's time for you to experience the love you deserve and let others help you. Like I'm saying, the decisions that you're making, it's like I said, it's hard decisions. And you just need to look after yourself with, you know, the outcome. As well, because you can burn yourself out with the decisions that you make. These are too many cards. That's why I say at the same time, do self-care. I'm going to do these. Fine. Archangel Michael is with you now. Even though you can't see, I am actively working on the situation. I am here and helping you. Okay, that's letting you know you're not alone in the decisions that you make. You will manifest what you need. Express gratitude as your plans have already come to pass. Trust that your angels are being are bringing you the assistance that you need. So it's saying, keep saying, don't worry about it. Trust the guidance you are receiving. Archangel Uriel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany. And we had to wear epiphany. We had to call it an epiphany. I'm also present to clear away your worries so you can trust your divine guidance. Like I'm saying, it's letting you know. And the decisions that you make, you know, you can sit here, but, you know, it's like trust the guidance that you're giving. Trust 
the intuitions, trust the clear, the um, the epiphany. Okay. All right. Now let's move to our sacred force oracle deck. Let's see what it has to say for Taurus of March of twenty twenty three. <coughs> Still getting over that cold that I've had like lingering forever. All right, Earth spirit is stability, like I said. Just being still, stable, thinking. Okay. That's for me. And you might say, well, hey, how come you take those and take those? If I don't feel that it's needed, I'm going to take. Okay. Spirit, guardian of autumn, letting go. Let go of things that are just like taxing that is not adding any value to your life when you're making decisions. If it's causing you chaos and confusion, you don't need it. All right. We have unicorn purity. Did we have a card of purity? Oh, we could have. Okay. But this is saying that your thoughts... And everything that you're doing are, are benefiting for the good. I'm sorry, I keep hitting this camera. We have stag spirit, leadership. That's what I'm saying. When you're in this, you're doing this with yourself. You become a leader so you know you can make good decisions on what you want to do to us. It takes leadership skills to make good decisions, okay? That's just, that's just truth within that, you know? Some people can make decisions. All you have to do is make this weird decision to you like why what did why'd you do that i mean i know we're in time you shouldn't worry about what people think but you know it's funny everything has a pro and a con it's like i can tell you hey don't worry about what people think but at the same time you need these people to help you. it it's so complex the human experience is very very complex human in action is very very complex it really is okay all right, let's do our affirmators because we're coming near the end of the reading. We're going to do the affirmators and then we're going to do the angel answers after this. So let's see what the affirmators have to say for Taurus of March of 2023. All right. Don't take it personally. If someone starts to speak unkindly to me, I remember that they're going through something that has nothing to do with me. Maybe like just, you know, poop to me. Yes, that's probably it. Okay. So it's saying, excuse me, Taurus, it's saying that when you're going through your thought process, or if someone else is going through a thought process, you might have, when you have a lot on your mind, you could be, I look at this way, I'm going to reverse it because it's coming from your aspect, Taurus. And I've done this. When I have a lot on my mind, I can be kind of snappy. And that's why I try to be, look, don't take it personal. Just charge it to my mind, not my heart. I'm not mad at you. I've got a lot of stuff on my mind. And I'm trying to figure out some things. So it's like, don't take it personal. I'm just going through. I know it's not an excuse, but i just going through some things. Okay? That song, remember? I'm just going to show how old I am. Back in the 90s. That song, I'll take it personal. Get a chance, look it up on YouTube. Look up, don't take it personal. I'm not going to say who it was, but it, it was a song in the 90s. And that just shows how old I am. Okay, we have Perseverance. It seems you are on a massive journey right now. And this card has arrived to remind you that you will reach the other side. You will reach... Okay, you reach the other side. I have my glasses on. The mountain you're climbing is huge and affordable, but it's your ability to climb it. You don't need to enjoy it. You just need to tackle it. Complain if it makes the job easier. Blow off steam, but think mountain climbers. Get in the top of Everest on inspirational quote. No way. They're grunting and crying and cursing like freaking pirates. That just doesn't sell it in a lot of posters. But so what it's saying, keep your perseverance up. Balance, strength, that's what it's saying, strength. Perseverance is strength. Power, balance. We'll get one more. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Oh, no, it's three more. Wow, okay. Worthiness. I am worthy of the ultimate happiness. I deserve to accept it, and damn it, I'm not going to feel guilty about when I get it. Guilt is not invited to my happiness party. I won't even tell him where it is. If it asks about me, I'd be like, no, I don't think you're thinking of something else. 
and then I'll run away very quickly. So it's saying worthiness, that the decision you make, you're, you're worthy of the decisions you make. Strength, like I said, you are hereby declared a strong, resilient warrior of heroic proportions and so on and so forth. This is confirming, like I said, strength. Then we have connection. I'm connected to the multitudes and I can access and support at any time. Even a stranger offers me a sense of comfort when they smile at me. That's what goes up here. <clears throat> hey, one of the cards up here with self-care and everything's like that. If you need help, ask. That comes with that connection, okay? That you're never alone. And it's like what you're thinking, you're never alone, okay? All right, now, we're coming to the end of the reading and I'm going to pull out three from my angel answer tarot deck. So if you want to pause the video right now, meditate and think of three questions or maybe just one question and it gives you all the answers, however you want to do it. I'm going to um, give out three questions. So if you want to pause it, think about it. I'm getting ready to hand, um, shuffle and give you some answers. All right. And if you want to, then, you know, you can skip out this little portion right here. All right, a year from now, don't know why I got the Dukes of Hazard theme in my head. Oh my gosh. Look it up on YouTube and you'll see. Maybe it'd be pertaining to someone. Don't know. That's just weird. Okay. There's something better. Oh, it's going just like here. Okay. Ask your angels, like it was saying, your angels' answers. Big happy changes. Okay. All right, Taurus, March of 2023. Wherever your answers or questions that you had, said a year from now, there's something better. Ask your angels and big happy changes. Okay. So the decision that you make, a year from now, uh, it could be sure, but I think with a year from now, I always feel like it's in that time. I'm not necessarily, okay, the day is March so-and-so, and then March so-and-so next year. No, I'm feeling like it was within that year of the time frame. You know, it could be two months, three months, however it is. That's why I feel like with that one. And saying this, the decision, there is something better. Ask your angels, like it was saying right here. Ask for wisdom. Ask for, ask for help. Big happy change. The decision that you're making will constitute happy changes for you in the long run. May not be today, may not be tomorrow, but you'll be happy with the results. All right, Taurus, it's the end of your reading of March of 2023. I hope it gave me some enlightenment. And with this, I know that you're just, you're just trying to figure out. If I can figure out, what do I need to do? So on and so forth. So I understand your plight for March of 2023, Taurus. Okay? It does get better, but boy, when you're in the thick of it, it can really mess your mind up when you're trying to make decisions up. Like I said, I'm not perfect. You know, but we are working together with these things. All right, gotta go. Hope you enjoyed this reading. If this, if your Taurus reading did not, um, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. If it's not for you, please check your other signs, your other astro signs. Um, like I said, I love you. I appreciate you. I'm gonna grab me a cup of coffee because it's getting real, y'all. <laughs> All right, but I love you. I see you later. You have a great day. Be safe. Bye.